Absolutely, so as we continue to do our bit to try and help you out there to live a better life. Now, I think it's very well known, the very bad health and the dangers, the health dangers associated with smoking, but millions of South Africans still continue the habit. And this is unfortunate because smoking puts you at a high risk of developing illnesses such as lung cancer, chronic lung diseases and heart diseases. Now, May is Anti-Tobacco Campaign Month in South Africa and the aim is to raise awareness of the dangers of tobacco use. And we're joined this morning by consultant psychiatrist Dr. Mike West, who is one of the country's leading experts uh, in the field of substance abuse and uh, disorders. And today we're chatting about substance abuse, in particular uh, nicotine addiction. So give us a call if you have any questions to ask on 0839133728. Dr. West, it's good to have you here. Hi, Kitli. How's it going? Very, very well. Thank you. So let's start at the very, very beginning mm -hmm. um, and try to understand what it is about nicotine that makes it so addictive. Mm -hmm. Okay. So nicotine actually is a chemical that exists in tobacco. And it's there because it's a very good insecticide. It's, a very, it's nature's most effective insecticide. So it's mm -hmm. actually a poison. But interestingly, in the human brain, it acts as a very, very powerful central nervous system stimulant. Okay. It basically means that it's able to improve attention, concentration, working memory, as, other, and as well as other measures of sort of executive function, which is sort of higher cognitive function. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, at the same time, it also causes the release of feel-good chemicals. So one example of these is dopamine. Okay. And dopamine is the chemical that the brain produces to say that what you've done is a good thing, this is a reward, and you must keep doing it again. So the brain releases small amounts of dopamine normally in response to good things that happen in our life. Yes. For example, like getting a promotion at work, or having a good meal, or being intimate with our spouse. But unfortunately, what happens with nicotine is it causes so much release of dopamine that basically the brain is awash with feel-good chemicals. So it actually causes a lot of sort of positivity, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hello, boy. A lot of positivity, <laughs> I guess. Getting some love there in, from our in, yeah. in mood. Yes. And unfortunately, because it causes people to feel good, the brain very quickly realizes that when it's not there, it doesn't feel very good. Yes. So then that causes people to say, oh, what's going to make me feel better? Smoking. Maybe another one. So it's the sort wow. of trick that nicotine sort of gets our brain into. Yeah. yeah. And um, I think generally, like I said in the beginning, we all know that it's, it's bad for our health, right? But not understanding really what it is that it's doing to your body. So mm. w what exactly is happening, uh, you know, on, on a chemical cellular level in your body that mm, is so mm, bad mm, with smoking? Mm, mm. So the thing is, yeah, that's also an interesting, very interesting question because nicotine in and of itself is not a harmful drug. It doesn't, well, I mean, it's toxic. It, it, it can cause toxicity and overdose and so on. But in terms of its effect on body organs and cells, it actually has very, very little impact whatsoever. However, it is the delivery mechanism of nicotine, which is tobacco, that contains over 200 carcinogens, sort of cancer-causing chemicals, as well as sort of various other nasty things that are put into the tobacco during the chain of production. And it's actually through the combustion of yeah. tobacco that all of these carcinogens are released, and it's through the release and sort of spread of these carcinogens around the body that then increases one's sort of likelihood of developing cancer, for example. Mm -hmm. At the same time, um, some of the chemicals that are in nicotine can be, can be very, very toxic to the blood vessels, which can then in and of itself result in, for example, um, cardiac disease or small vessel disease or contribute to, to mm -hmm. hypertension um, or cholesterol as well. Oh, so there's so many negative side effects of tobacco. It makes it very, very difficult for me to try and understand or rationalize why people would want to put this into their body in the first place. Well, once again, the, the chemical reaction and the release of dopamine mm. might be uh, mm. an explanation for that. But we'll continue our conversation with Dr. West after the break. Remember, our lines are open 0839133728 to, uh, for you to ask, of course, questions regarding our medical topic this morning. But right now, over to Graham and Zoe.